What up everybody, it's Hazmat and welcome back to this new video. I hope all of you have been having a good day. Um, today I'm going to be showing you guys how to use the Crack Shot, which in my opinion is one of the most versatile weapons in Shell Shockers currently. Um, yeah, so uh, I'm going to be walking you through a few steps on how to get better and or change your gameplay so that you improve or something of that sort. So first I'm going to be showing you guys the hitbox of... Uh, an opposing egg in where you should be aiming with the crack shot in order to get those one shot kills. Um, I'm also going to show you guys how to take fights with the crack shot uh, where you should be positioning yourself for the most success in the future. Um, and also I'm going to be showing you guys how to lead people who are far away because in this game the bullets are not hit scan which means as soon as you click the bullet instantly goes to wherever your mouse is positioned, you know, to shoot the other player. But in this game, you do have to slightly lead players because the bullet does take time to get to the opposing eggs. So, um, yeah, I'll be showing you guys those uh, different things in this video, and I hope all of you um, enjoy. All right, so now on to the hitbox part of this video. Uh, as you can see in the clips currently being played, uh, when I shoot middle to middle right of the egg, I do kill the egg in one shot. Um, this is from 100 HP to zero. Uh, but if I shoot on the outside of the shell, it does like 10 HP. So when you are aiming with the crack shot, you do want to go for the center of the egg the most you can. If you can aim for the center of the egg, then it leaves more room for air for the bullet to go a bit farther out from the center which means a higher chance of hitting that sweet spot in the center of the egg um, but if you again do hit the outside it is 10 damage and you're probably going to want to reload so uh, let's get on to uh, how to take fights all right so how to take fights with the crack shot um there are many ways to die in this game um the main way being shot the other way being blown up and sometimes people fall off the map because they're like glitching out of the map or whatnot. Um, so, when you are taking fights with the crack shot, you need to be aware of uh, where you can sh get shot from. So, as you can see in the middle of my screen, there's a crosshair. It's white, and it, go it keeps going up and down, depending on if I jump or if I move. Um, when you are using the crack shot, you are most accurate when you are fully scoped in and or standing still. Um, well, it's when you're standing still. Uh, this means the bullet is going to go directly towards where you are um, aiming at. Uh, so you do want to stand still as much as you can, but this creates a problem because other people are going to be watching for when you stand still. And if there's other crack shot people in the lobby, they might wait for you to stand still and then they'll shoot you. Um, so you have to be quick and versatile when you are uh, using the uh, crack shot so you're gonna wanna like move stop and then shoot and then start moving um, immediately after um, but you also want to mitigate the amount of angles you do get shot by this is kind of hard to explain I'm trying to explain it in um, this offline lobby so when you're up on this tower and you look around you can get shot from ev anywhere except down there um, behind me uh, down you know underneath but everywhere else you can get shot from um, basically anywhere you can see you can basically die from uh, you want to try to mitigate the amount of uh, places you can get shot from by positioning yourself to block off as many angles as possible so that means uh, maybe jumping down here look at this you can't really see you know I was up here People could see me on this orange thing, but if I jump down here, they can't really see me. So I just eliminated some angles. I eliminated the angles right below me. I, um, yeah, just got, got rid of a lot of angles in general. Um, now, when it comes to a different angle, let's say, if we head over here and we're up here, look at my angles we can get shot from. And if the guy we want to kill is right there, we can maybe take a pop shot at him. If we miss, you probably want to jump down here, um, lessen the amount of angles people can see us at, and shoot them from here. Because 
we basically just took off half the map. No one can see us from over here. We can only get shot from behind and in front of us. Um, I'm not sure if this is making any sense to you guys, but basically when you are, you know, trying to position yourself for fights, you do want to limit the amount of angles you can get shot from because it decreases the um, chances of you uh, dying to some extraneous uh, person or whatnot. So adding on to what I just said, um, basically when you're using a crack shot, you want to keep moving as much as you can and you want to stop, uh, you know, to take the shots you um, want to take so you can be as accurate as possible. If you're always shooting while moving, you're not going to be getting the amount of kills that uh, you will be when you do stand still. Now when you do get better with the crack shot, you can see a lot of times in this footage behind me. Uh, what I'm currently saying, uh, I, I am moving a good amount while I uh, am taking these shots and or uh, the crosshair is not completely still in the middle of my um, uh, display or uh, you know screen. So my shots aren't always accurate, but that's something I'm willing to take um, risks at to just stay safe and constantly keep moving. Um, so you kind of just have to get a feel for it and you just got to be, yeah. You just got to be moving and when you do need to reload, you need to get behind cover and all that fun jazz. So uh, let's get into how to lead people in this game. All right, so when it comes to leading people in this game, um, it's not super hard. You just need to aim a notch in front of them and um, pull the trigger and hope that that bullet kills them. Um, in this current video, I'm showing you guys that if you do you know, decide to shoot right when the crosshair is on the egg, you're going to completely miss them if they're far away. So you have to make sure that you uh, aim a notch in front of them so that the bullet meets up with them at that exact moment in the future and it kills them. Um, basically, that's like perfect footage that I just showed you guys. It's not going to be that easy to lead people in game. Um, they might be jumping moving different directions rather other than side to side so it does take practice um, you aren't always going to hit your shots with the crack shot um, and I'm just going to ramble on about a few more things real quick um, so you guys, uh, you guys you're not always going to hit your shots with the crack shot um, it's not the easiest weapon to use but um, it is one of my favorites there are there is a blanking issue, so basically, uh, you might hit them in the center of the egg. Uh, it might not kill them. It's it's kind of wonky. Uh, sometimes you'll one shot him like, how did I one shot him? Sometimes you'll shoot him and he's like, how does he not die? How did he not get one shot? It's kind of a back and forth kind of um, love hate relationship that you guys will get used to. Um, I just want to remind you guys that there is a pistol in the crack shot class. So if you do hit somebody for let's say 75, 80% of their health, just whip out the, uh, the the pistol and shoot them to death, all right? I mean, it's part of the class. You don't just have to use the crack shot. So remember that and um, just have fun, all right? It's going to take time to get better with the weapon. Um, so if you put time into it, effort into it, if you persevere through the amount of times you die, you're like, what the heck? Why that blank? Why not? Just remember it's all about having fun, and it's just an egg game, all right? And egg games are not real life. So, that's all I have for you guys today. I hope all of you have a fantastic rest of your day. Um, just remember, again, it's all about having fun. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Um, at the beginning of the video, I said have, I hope you're having a good day. But I hope you guys just have a good holiday, had a good holiday in general. Whether you celebrate Christmas or not, um, it's just a nice couple days off to relax and chillax or whatnot. So, uh, yeah, um, have a good one, everyone, and I'll see you guys in the future bit. Peace.